morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. There be no sunrise this morning. It was foggy. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but oh, I guess uh, four hours ago when the sun was starting to come over the berm, <laughs> well, you could sort of see the berm. <laughs> yeah, it eventually started to clear up a little bit over the bridge. But, uh, yeah, okay, enough about the sunrise. Now, what's this? Okay, this is the back portion of my bicycle seat. You remember I was talking about I wanted to lower it a little bit? Well, I lowered it this much on the back, plus the width of the blade, which is a sixteenth of an inch. So, uh, it's, it's dropped it down about two centimeters, I guess, altogether. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it later today, weather permitting. We're, we got the last time I checked, we had a 60% chance of thunder showers today. Uh, yesterday, we actually had a tornado warning going on most of the day. And we had some pretty wicked uh, uh, storms move through here. But uh, nothing happened that I know of. I haven't checked the news yet and typed in the the word tornado in Manitoba. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Are we going to be able to stay focused today? I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it's almost to the point where it's serious. And uh, one of the viewers said that the Yamato is going to be out of production by the time you get to it or something to that effect. And uh, I commented back, I'm concerned about that myself. And you know what? I'll, I'll tell you, I am a little bit concerned about it. I'm sort of concerned about why am I not getting through this? <laughs> I, I seem to be at a bit of a standstill. And one of the things is I'm going to be doing... I'm going to get sidetracked a little bit here. I want to take a, one of Gabe's uh, pieces here, actually two of them. And um, Mark was saying that he, he was wondering how glue would, would react on that rosin. And it could be that rosin takes a special glue, I don't know. Gabe would know. I'm sure he's going to let us know. Uh, but we'll do a little bit of a test today. I want to put some CA uh, or some uh, Tamiya Extra Thin and some CA Thin on a couple of different pieces. And uh, Mark was wondering how it would be able to glue ordinary sprue to it. Uh, anyway, we're, we're getting sidetracked again, aren't we? Uh, let's see if we can't recompose here and, and get... Our, our, our little parts here. In other words, we, we can get our uh, photo our PhotoWatch uh, G5 platform uh, attached to that part that we glued together yesterday. And we're going to have to be extremely careful because the, uh, the connections are so delicate. And then we got to fasten it to the J44. Uh, <laughs> And uh, you know, you know, gluing it onto the J44, which is this piece here. Hey, I actually was able to pick it up. I, for a minute there, I thought I probably couldn't. Anyway, it's got to go on to the end of that, but it has to go on there square. I mean, it can't go on there tilted one way or the other. It's got to be at the same angle as this is. So that's uh, I have to figure out how to do that. I wonder if maybe doing it upside down would be better. Yeah, it could be to hold the whole thing upside down in the helping hand somehow, and then put the put put this uh, piece on uh, perpendicular upside down. Yeah, that I just thought of that now. Okay, uh, what else was I going to tell you here? Okay, uh, we talked about the bicycle. We talked about the weather. We let's move on. Okay, a few moments ago I was looking at our little part here that we glued up yesterday. And when I look at it, uh, you might say, uh, so the plane is the same as the way the, the radar is. You can see that this is not, in other words, when we mount this part here onto here, let me get it just so I can get it just right here. Why can't I get it just right? Okay, when when this goes on here like this, this radar unit is going to be sort of aiming down. 
So I I can't pull I can't pull this air this one this connection up, but I can push this connection down. Now I think that in all likelihood what is going to happen is when I push this down. I'm going to end up breaking breaking it off probably right here. I think that this one will hold, but I think that this this may may sort of snap off here. Yeah, oh, the whole thing did. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to quickly redo this off camera, so I don't frustrate everybody to death here. Now, this this may have been a, a bit of a blessing in disguise because not only was it aimed wrong the, that way, it was not. It was not perpendicular with with the uh, with the radar unit this way. It was sort of, I'm guessing maybe five degrees off. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to quickly do that off camera and get it done. Okay, I've got everything readjusted here and C8 back on. You might be able to notice that on the plastic pedestal part here, I have. Uh, sort of made a bit of a groove where the photo etch piece can go down into and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use a little bit of a uh, curing agent here on Gabe's swab and just try and activate this a little bit quicker here that should do it Pretty sure I got it. Okay, it is raining outside. I might not be biking today. Now, before we go any further here, uh, I think it was in the day before yesterday's video, I mentioned that these little, what I called a blemish on the top, because if you don't look at it really, really close, you can't tell that it's an arrowhead. See that? Now, when Gabe was making these pieces of rosin here, they're supposed to represent weights for a particular ship that he was making. And apparently in the old days, if I get if I get this right, and I'm sorry, Gabe, if I'm telling it wrong, that a lot of the, the British stuff that was cast, cast iron and stuff like that, they, they put this arrowhead in it, on it, to... Uh, symbolize ownership at least I think that's what it was about uh, okay now let, let's uh, where's my other tweezers here well, I, I can't find them so I'm going to just use the photo plier here let's put a piece of uh, of sprue on here boy that's a big piece isn't it do I really need something that big maybe, maybe we'll put it on, on this one over here Okay, now now what I want to find out is, is the melding from the from the Tamiya extra thin going to meld these parts together here? We'll let lots of the uh, sprue run down onto the uh, onto the rosin. Oh, that's lots. There's lots there. Okay. Now on the on the other piece, so why am I putting more on? I guess I'm because I'm a moron. Okay. When that evaporates, there should have been lots of melding going on. Now let's take in uh, and see. We should have some. Where is it? Okay, here it is. My uh, CA glue. We're going to put that on the other one here. And then to see how strong it is, we'll just try and pick it off later. I don't think we need to try and glue anything. Okay, that's, that's lots. Okay, let's just leave that for a while, and uh, maybe later on today, uh, before the end of the episode, unless I forget, we'll, we'll take a look and see what we got here. Okay, I was going to use the uh, helping hands here, but I've kind of come up with another idea. And uh, just let me.
try and get a little bit closer here. This almost is the right height if I go like this. Maybe if I could angle it a little bit better so that you can see it. I shouldn't have to lift this up very much to get it to fit in there. Okay. I might have to do this off camera. It might take a tiny bit of force and I don't want to accidentally break something off here and have to glue it again which wouldn't be the end of the world okay so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, and take this off camera here because I've got to lift this up and get it just right so why do I keep trying it then boy am I stubborn or what Okay, you can sort of see what's going on there. Now, my thinking is, now you can see it's lifted a couple of millimeters up off of the green cloth, but what I want to be able to do is, before I reinforce everything with CA thick or something, uh, I want to see if I can't just get this plastic to melt together before we do any CAing or painting. Now, if I if I support this from the from the back something like this and put some I, I guess probably quick setting would be good does that look like it's at the right angle or should this maybe be a little bit lower I think let me check the monitor actually why don't I square this up to the camera and then I can use the the monitor Need another pair of tweezers here. Where are those other tweezers? Okay, here we go. Now this this might be a little bit too high, so we want to try and find something that's that's going to be a little bit lower than that. Now just just let me uh, check the monitor now. How, how does how does this height look? Uh, that's not too bad. I suppose I suppose if it was a little bit too much one way or the other, you know, it, I think if, if it was this way or this way that wrong, it wouldn't be too noticeable because but if it was if it was crooked this way, then then we're going to really notice it because then the uh, array is going to look lopsided. So uh I had it better the first time. I'm, I'm basically looking straight down on it now. And I can see that the... That this has to go like this to get everything in a straight line this way. If you know what I mean. Now let me look in the monitor. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, is the platform at right angles? Or should the platform maybe be a little bit more tucked in there on the front? Or maybe maybe it won't. Oh, it should. Sorry to be getting my fingers in your way here. Okay, how's that? That's, that's not too bad. Oh! oh. You know, I suppose I could cut all this nonsense out later, but then I'd have a, a video about maybe two minutes long. And the only thing that would make sense is, welcome to Winnipeg. Okay. Let's lift this up just a little bit here. Okay, now let's get this. Oh, I keep doing that. Oh, these are Tony's tweezers. Let's blame Tony. <laughs> uh. 
I'm starting to get shaky. Must be time to go for a bike ride or something. Oh, the sun's come out, by the way. Rain has stopped and the sun is out. Okay, now. Now, does that look right? It looks good when I'm looking straight down on it. And it looks pretty good this way. Okay, now let's not bump this. I keep I keep catching these with my ha other hand here. Because I'm concentrating so much about for right there. Now, where is my melding extra thin here? Let's just get this melding together here. I'm pretty sure this is going to work its way in. I'm not going to poke at it. Now this stuff will, will completely dry and I do believe those two plastic parts will be strong enough that I'll later be able to pick this up just by the mast part. Okay, let's uh, push stop here and move away very carefully from the model table. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to check the radar weather and if it looks like it uh, it's safe to go out for a while, I'm going to go for a ride right now and let this dry. Well, I don't know. It's pretty iffy right here. Let's see which way is this moving. It's coming this way. Okay, at this very moment we've got uh, a shower just to the to the west of us. I'm I'm right about uh, in Winnipeg. Let's see where are we here? There's the north perimeter. Okay, my house would be right about where the the finger is on this. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can move in one more notch here. Maybe I'm about as big as no. I'm as moved in as I can get. Yeah, my house is right about here. So you you can see there's a shower moving this way. There's another one forming up here. Um, this is what I go by more than anything else. I don't go by the forecast because it's, you know, hours old. Uh, it's almost like yesterday's news. Um, I don't know if I dare give it a try. The streets are dry right now. And if I look out my window here, it's, uh, it, it is cloudy. The, it's not sunny anymore. I guess I could I could stick around the house here and at least I get to try out my seat. Okay, this was all about do I like the seat better or not. So what do I think? Well, I really wasn't noticing anything one way or the other about it, and I was trying to pay attention. So I, I guess it wasn't hurting, and I wasn't getting that feeling that I was sliding forward like I had before. Um, it could be that I might want to take the electric knife to it a little later, but I want to, you know, sit on it for a little, a little longer than just going around the block, which is what I did here. I was only on the bike for maybe <laughs> not even five minutes. So, uh, yeah, if I'd have been sitting on it for about an hour, I might have uh, been developing, you might say, a sore spot somewhere. And I would know where to, uh, like I say, take the electric knife to it. Uh, anyway, uh, I do think it's better. Yeah, I think it's better.
don't trust the weather. I'll go out again. Like, I know right now the sun's coming out, but uh, there's some pretty black clouds around, so. Okay, about two and a half hours has passed here now. Now this is not going to be as, as strong as if it had have been, you know, overnight. But I think it is going to be strong enough that we should be able to pick it up. Now there's two things I'm hoping. That when I pick it up, it doesn't just sort of slump over. And second of all, that when I try to stand it up to see how true it is, it doesn't go up out of the field of view. But it, I, I don't think it will. I think it should just make it here. So... Here we go, very gently now. Uh, should I maybe be using another pair of tweezers here to pick it up? Or maybe, no, I might might accidentally let go with those. Why don't I use the, uh, yeah, let's just make some room here. Use a self-locking plier, then there's not too much of a danger of me accidentally letting go of it later. Okay. It's, I'm looking at it in the monitor right now, and it seems to be pretty good. Yeah, it, okay, the platform, as you can see, okay, the platform does seem to be leaning, sloping this way. Uh, I don't think I dare try to straighten it out though. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now now what I'm going to want to do is take and uh, put some CA glue where, where, the, where the extra thin is and reinforce it really good all the way around. It, it's pretty good on the top here. You know that flange is, is uh, you know, making it pretty strong, but right here, where we just C8 it together, or uh, extra thinned it together, it's it's not all that strong, so, okay, let me just carefully reposition here now, where, what am I going to do with this, um, okay, I think if I, I should be able to just lay it down very gently, okay, all right, I'll, uh, I'll reposition. Maybe the best thing to do will be somehow hang it upside down from the helping hands. Maybe this is where I could use one of Chris's alligator clips. Although this, this seems to be working pretty good too. Okay, this is what I've come up with here. I think this is going to work. And my plan is to uh, take some C8, uh, this is CA thick, and I just want to uh, put sort of, you might call it, uh, for lack of a better word, sort of a gusset uh, all the way around the bottom between the photo etch and the mast, and of course not have it so, th so much that it's going to ooze out into the, and spoil all the detail of the, the grating or whatever that's supposed to be. Anyway, that, that's the plan right now. Uh, but you know, I just realized that we were going to look at that uh, uh, resin that we put glue on. And that was so, that was quite a while ago this morning, wasn't it? So that was about five hours ago. So by now, that, that glue should be, should be uh, uh, set. So let's just take a look at that, and then, and then if we have time... Uh, then, then we'll slip on the macro lens because I know you want to see really close and um, maybe put this on. We'll see how we'll see what happens, or I might leave it for the next episode. Okay, now where are those pieces? Okay, I found them. I was kind of worried there for a minute. Okay, I had set them here for safekeeping. Now, you know what? We're going to have to put the macro lens on anyway here. 
Okay, I've still got it on the rotator. I got it mounted down on some double sided tape so it doesn't move around. First thing we're going to want to do here is just see how does our CA our CA thin stick. And, and the lighting is not real, real good, but I think once I start scratching on it, it, it should uh, be okay. So let's, let's just see here. Does it want, seem like it wants to peel off? Okay, I would say I would say it sticks to it. Okay, I would say the CA glue sticks to the rosin. That's that's my you know, I, naturally I can scrape it off, but then I, I could scrape it off of you know, uh, ordinary sprue as well. Okay. Now let's check out this other thing here. Let's find a place where where the where we can see the glue. We can sort of see it there. Now is this is this going to want to come off all in one piece? You know, in other words, chip off, or is it going to stick on there? Just trying to wedge this underneath here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking it off of the. Okay, excuse my ugly finger here. Okay, it can be broken off. Now, is it going to break off cleanly, or what's going to happen here? Um, it, it does appear to me that the that the glue did. Now, the glue I don't think melted. I don't think the glue dissolved the rosin. And uh, Gabe, you would know. I, I I don't think it did though. I don't think it. I don't think it melted like the like the plastic here. Okay. Well, we, uh, we did our test, Mark. Uh, <laughs> we did our test. Now, in woodworking, I would call this a lap joint. Now, let's not go breaking it off. Um, I don't know what you'd call it in model making. But I'm going to leave this until uh, the next episode. And then we'll, you know, put some sort of a... A gusset, a, a, a gusset flange. <laughs> yeah, we'll build, build up uh, all the way around. Is near, is, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well. We'll see you in the morning.